Hi, Ravi, and thanks to be here. Uh, I would like to ask you about the subject in your work about reality and fiction. Yes, reality and fiction is like a fundamental uh, uh, concept in, in my works. Uh, but I also think that this is something that we cannot run away from it. So I think like every narrative, whatever it's uh, pretend that it's objective, there is subjectivity in it. And the use of fiction and real in my works is actually not to cheat the audience that there is uh, fiction, but you believed me. Uh, no, actually it's to underline what is history, how is history written, and to be all the time aware and and asking questions and not to refuse whatever uh, the narrative or the history of the other uh, is full of lies or like of fictions. Just to, to listen to it and to try to understand what is going behind it. What is the discourse behind it? And this is my, my main aim to use the fiction and the real. Hi, Ravi. It's a pleasure to have you here in Madrid. Um, you've been living and working in Germany for quite some time now. What is your relation to Germany and how has it influenced your work? Uh, actually, m my relation to Germany, like uh, it was like a long, long time ago before I moved to, to Berlin, to Germany. Uh, I've been uh, presenting my works uh, a lot in Germany, mainly like uh, in Berlin. In, uh, with the House Kultur in uh, Der Welt and uh, with the Hebel am Ufer uh, Theater. Uh, and in 2013, I, I got a fellowship from uh, Freie University with the Interweaving Cultures Performances uh, for one year. And this one year actually it, it extended to two years and then I stayed there. And it, now it's eight years there. And, and this opens a lot of opportunity to be in, in Berlin uh, to meet with a lot of uh, researchers and uh, artists uh, and theater makers from all the world. Like Berlin is a cosmopolitan uh, city. Uh, and at the same time, it, uh, it, uh, it gave me the opportunity uh, till today like to, to travel easily in, in, in Europe and internationally uh, and to be supported by the German uh, state as well, like which was really uh, something that I, I ever had in my country in Lebanon because like in Lebanon they don't believe in culture, they don't support culture and we were always uh, struggling with producing our works. You are presenting your work here in Madrid now. We are slowly, slowly getting out of the pandemic. Um, what is your feeling to be presenting your work here to the public in Madrid? I, I didn't believe that uh, we will make it to uh, to Madrid and to be here uh, showing this piece because uh, you know in most of the world like uh, theaters, cinemas, cultural centers, museums are closed because of the lockdown and and this pandemic. But uh, but I think like it's important to have like uh, in a way uh, open open these spaces. Uh, and you can see like in all, all these countries, they, the, the first thing that they sacrifice is the cultural scene. They close the cultural scene, but they keep like other things open. Like for example, like, like religious uh, spaces, places like uh, churches and mosques, etc. They, they are open. Um, uh, commercial malls, they are, and the last, the last is the cultural scene as if it's something like uh, entertainment, luxury, I don't know. And for me, like it's the, the it, it must be a priority. So being here in Madrid and see that the, 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 the city is really looking high to cultural uh, scenes is really amazing. And I, I'm, I'm proud of this and I'm so glad that I'm here. So thanks a lot.